Hi guys, Jack, Jeff here again from TAP. Uh, we've come to the day of getting this battery on this Nissan Leaf back together. We've got our, our donor battery, our good battery we've got here. We've been balancing that for the last basically week to get it down to the voltage. So we've come down, we've got right down to 7.27 volts, which is exactly what we want it to be. Uh, we've measured the batteries, all the ones on this one. This is the pack we had apart. We've diagnosed this third battery is the one with the leakage problem. Uh, so we'll get this back apart. We'll get this new battery cell in replacement of the faulty one and bolt it all back up together. So the balancing is very, very important, 7.27 volts. It'll match every one of these other batteries uh, in 7.72 volts. Uh, they're already in the stack. We'll get that one back into there. Battery pack back out of the car and back together. So, uh, yeah, enjoy the journey, but we're going to get this one back together today. We've got the faulty cell out, which is this one here. We've put the new replacement one back in here in the faulty position. We've talked it all back up again so our battery pack's ready to be dropped back into the actual battery module. Uh, let's just do some testing on it again. So with the uh, mega tester here, what we're gonna do is we've got it on the ground. We're actually gonna check the resistance of this unit now. We've selected 1,000 ohms on our meter. And the first thing we wanna see is when we press this button for testing is that we achieve that 1,000 volts. So we can see there straight away, we've achieved the 1,000 volts and our resistance there, 482 and climbing. So again, what we wanna see there in the resistance is that climbing up over time. So we've got a thousand volts across this whole battery pack now. We've got good increasing resistance, uh, mega ohms. Uh, so we're at 500, 600 mega ohms there over time. So that battery pack is now ready to go and ready to put back into the battery, into the battery pack. If we go back to the actual faulty cell that we've replaced, we've got two batteries in this one block uh, and that's the way it's numbered in the, in the, in the in your you know, PID data as well. That's a battery, that's a battery, and there's 96 of them. So this is actually housing two batteries in this particular case. We've got the good side and the bad side. If we go to the good side of this particular battery here, and again, we press the test, we can see that we go straight to 1,000 volts, and again, increasing resistance there over time, which is what we, what we want to see, which is basically what a DAR test is. If we go then to the faulty side, and we just go straight on our, our voltage side, and we press it now, we can see straight away, obviously we are not achieving our thousand volts. So it's only getting to a hundred volts, and it's telling us that our, we've still got killer ohms there, but there's no way we've got the right reading. So we're not achieving our, our desired voltage. So we desired a thousand volts testing voltage here for the insulation test, and it's not achieving that. So definitely proves even in this one block here, two batteries, one's good, One's leaking badly, so that's the one we've re 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 replaced. Obviously, you can see where the leaking uh, signs of the leakage is actually there uh, on the battery itself. So we'll open this one, up, this one up later, but basically we've confirmed now that the repair's now been done. We've got a good battery in here. We've already balanced it, as we mentioned earlier on uh, in the video, that it's balanced with the rest of them at 7.27 volts. So this one's ready to drop back into the, ba into the battery module. We'll get it back in the module, lock it all back down again, do another test on it before we put the lid on, and get it back into the car. Uh, we've got this battery pack back together now, so we've got it all bolted back down, torqued down, and we've double checked all the connections. We've got this battery pack in here that we replaced that faulty cell in, uh, and we're just going to do a final mega test on this particular battery. So we've got it all in, we've got our safety plug, or our service disconnect plug is disconnected. So in theory, we have two high voltage batteries, one on one side of the battery, so we'll go to the negative side here. We've again, settled on a thousand volts there for testing purposes. Again, if I just press the old test button here, straight away we can see we achieve our thousand volts and an increasing uh, mega ohm resistance, which is all 100%. We then go onto the positive side of the circuit and do the same thing. We again reach 1,000 volts immediately, and again, an increasing uh, mega ohm resistance. One thing to be very, very careful of in doing this is you've got to make sure before you do any of this sort of mega testing that you've disconnected the BMS, the battery management system. So that in this case, went, the bolts on the side over here. We've disconnected that to make sure we keep that safe. We've finished all our mega testing now. We're going to put the battery management system back into the system, uh, silicon the lid back down again and get this one back into the vehicle. So hopefully, uh, yeah, it's been a great exercise so far. Uh, I think we've all learned a fair bit from it, but again, we're ready to put this one back and she's ready to go. We've got the battery pack back, back, lid back on, fully sealed. We've got it back up into place. It's all bolted in and we're ready to put our service plug in. So it's the last part of the job before we reconnect the 12 volt battery. But we've tested it again for our leakage. Again, once it's in, in situ here, everything's testing perfect. So we've got no insulation issues. We've cleared all the fault codes once we get this plug back in again, and then we're gonna take it for a drive. But you've gotta remember with these safety uh, uh, devices, it's a two stage switch. So you have gotta make sure that they're switched in and anchored in correctly. That people get caught with them. Uh, it's, it's getting it in. And as the, as the lever is pushed down like this, the, the orange section is actually pushed into the plug further before it actually locks its, locks its way in. But we're going to get this one in, take it for a road test, and I'll show you some data on the scan tool. There 
there we go. One missing all completed and now running. So we've done a couple of road tests in it now. Everything's looking really, really good on this battery repair, uh, which has been great. We're looking at some data while we'll be going around. One of the main ones we want to look at in this particular case is this IR Sense Short Pulse. That's the main PID that the uh, ETU looks at as far as uh, installation concerned. So what it does is it superimposes a five volt AC signal over all the high voltage area. So in this particular case, it's got to see as close to five volts as possible. So at the moment we're running at 4.352, which is, you know, that, that's okay. Uh, we think the, uh, the parameter mark to logging a fault code is probably around that 2.5. Uh, or 2,000 millivolts, 2,500 2, millivolts. So, but that's a really good figure. When this vehicle first came into us, uh, it was running at 2,370 odd millivolts. So, way down under what it should have been under the five. Therefore, it was logging that insulation fault code. So, the job all up. You know, battery out, the isolation, finding that leaking uh, battery cell, replacing it, and getting it all back together has been quite an interesting journey to get this car back up and running. But this car here, if we look at the battery cell voltages now, they're all virtually uh, identical. Our minimum, maximum values, etc all there as well so it's looking really really healthy again so i think this car's got many many more years and k's left in it uh with health, health, healthy driving with a bunch of 96 healthy batteries in there so hope you've enjoyed the journey see you next time